And just into the newsroom, we are hearing for the first time from Democratic candidate for governor Katie Hobbs about why she rejected a televised debate with Republican opponent Carrie Lake. Our Joe Dana caught up with Hobbs at an ASU Voter Registration Day event this afternoon. You're also going to hear from a voter who talked to Hobbs afterward. We offered alternatives that would have provided an opportunity for voters to see us and that th those weren't accepted. And so um, I'm going to continue talking to voters around the state, um, hearing from them about the issues they're concerned about. And um, no, I am not afraid. Uh, I stared down armed protesters at my house, which, by the way, Carrie Lake has helped to incite those kinds of threats against me. I can, t I can tell you from the senior community that I know best, uh, they want to see her. Not to debate, There's, unless she could give a really good reason why she has to debate. And I'm sorry to say it. She has my vote. She has my support. Well, you heard Katie Hobbs speaking forcefully about why she's not debating. Clearly, it's also personal. She blames Carrie Lake for helping to incite threats against her. Lake promotes the lie that the 2020 election was stolen from Donald Trump. Katie Hobbs is our top elections officer as Secretary of State. But I can tell you there are a lot of Democrats like Linda Martini, who you just heard from, who want to see Hobbs on a debate stage with Lake. And right now our Joe Dana is heading to a Carrie Lake event in Chandler that she's advertised as an Ask Me Anything night. I have to say earlier today, Lake falsely claimed that Hobbs wants to remove the Pledge of Allegiance and the Constitution from Arizona schools. That's flat out false. That's one thing Lake might be asked about tonight. All right, Bram, thank you very much. Sure thing.